I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here, my the brother himself, Lee McGregor. Lee, it's been a long time coming. It's been over a year since you've been in, in the ring. And uh, obviously, frustrating times leading up in that year, within that year, um, hardships and all the rest of it. But just talk to me how you're feeling right now that you're so close to a fight. Yeah, no, honestly, I'm absolutely buzzing. Finally here, 13 months out of the ring. Finally getting back in the ring. Um, yeah, just excited. I want to get back in there, get... Um, Back, back, back to where I was. Uh, build, build from this and have, have a big year and forget about last year. Obviously, you mentioned the press conference said uh, you're going up and wait up into that super bantamweight division. Um, everyone used to say when you were down at bantamweight how big you are. I mean, I'm standing right in front of you now, and you're my height, which is massive for a bantamweight. But you're still going to be a big super bantamweight. That being said, so how are you feeling at this new weight? You don't look dry at all, mate. So how are you? Now, who knows? Uh, that's the thing. This one, obviously, is slightly heavier. We're going to get this one out of the way and then we'll sit down and decide what I'm going to do. But I wouldn't be surprised if I even fall into a featherweight eventually. So I'm just going to play it by ear. And I, again, I'm not looking ahead of things. I'm just focused on Saturday night, getting back, like I said, in the ring, enjoying myself, building the momentum that I've built in the gym. And then we'll discuss everything after that. But bantamweight days are obviously finally over so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to being full of energy in that ring and, and a bigger man and a bigger and stronger man and I'm going to show that on Saturday night yeah, Obviously I, I know you personally and I know the, all the shit that's gone on in your, in your personal life so is there going to be frustrations in this fight and take it out on somebody because of the long layoff and obviously the hype behind you but when you and Josh Taylor were coming through Ben Davidson's gym and there was all this Lee McGregor's the next Josh Taylor so to speak the next multiple world champion the next champion coming out of Scotland but then obviously you've had that layoff all them hardships is there maybe frustrations is a long word but anxiety to get in there and just get a job done and put some put some leather on somebody's face lack of a better word I get what you're saying there and I could, easy, I could easily say yeah definitely but I, I think that's the wrong mindset for me to go in with because I, I think that's, that slightly showed in my last performance a bit a bit too eager a bit too keen and it ended up being a bit nose didn't look as good as what I know I am so I think I need to go in with a mature mindset go in with it with a mindset of knowing that I need to do exactly what I need to do build on what I've been doing in the gym not overdo it not overthink it just stick to my, my boxing be mature about the situation and come through this fight. I'm, I'm not bothered, I'm not putting pressure on myself and say I'm going to go in here and crack away at this guy and try and knock him out and that because that's when things don't go well. I'm going to do do the basics right, be mature about it and the most important thing is coming out and as long as I'm happy and my coaches are happy with the performance, that, that is the main thing. I'm not interested in anything else. I want to build on the momentum that I've built from being back in the gym from the start of this year. Because I'm not going to lie, when I went back down to the gym at the start of the, start of the year, end of last year, I was a million miles off it. No, due to the lifestyle or being away off the rails, drinking, eating, the, I've been on it for a, this whole year. It's just the, the stress and the mental challenges I've had to go through has definitely, it definitely set me back. And we could all feel it and see it when I was back in the gym. Now, these last couple of weeks, it's, it's clicked together. I've built a lot of momentum and I want to keep that momentum going into this fight. And after that, keep that going and have a big year and get back to where I was. The Diego Reeves fight, obviously, there was a, if you watched that fight back and have you looked at it and seen what you've done wrong and what you can do differently and sort of like in the approach to this fight coming up on Saturday? One million percent, hundred percent. I'd love to go back to that fight, and I'm confident going going back into that fight. I know I won, of course. Yeah, uh, but listen, I know going back into that fight and with the right mindset and doing what I need to do, I'm very confident that I could stop Diego Reyes. Maybe that's a big statement, but I know with the right mindset and the right the right Lee McGregor, I could. So, um, but no, again, listen. I, I've learned from that I'm going to go in there with this fight on Saturday night do what I need to do yeah I, you could say I've learned a lot from that I went in from, from round one trying to trying to knock him out it's not the right thing to do I'm going to go in there and be mature about this and do like I said do what I need to do obviously when I remember we were talking about you becoming a world champion and talking about Anui being in that division and how tough it is to become a world champion down at Bantamweight. It seems like Anui's moved up as well and you've got Stevie Fulton there. I mean, the Super Bantamweight division is probably just as hard as that Bantamweight division to fulfil your dreams. Um, 
you obviously had that long layoff, 13 months out of the ring. How soon can we see you in amongst that sort of your name getting mentioned with these guys at the top? My luck in it. Uh, the minute obviously all everything starts becoming available at Bantamweight, I'm just totally outgrown it. It's, again, just sums me up, sums my luck up with boxing. But I'm I'm very confident, and I've said it from from when I was a young kid. That it's been my lifelong dream of being a world champion, and I won't stop until I achieve that. It's obviously many obstacles in the way, and taking a lot longer than well, not taking a lot longer because. But listen, I think people forget I have only had 11 fights and what I've done in 10 fights was very, very... Not many people do that. So I think people need to remember that and I think maybe these last couple of fights have learned that, that we need to just obviously keep learning. There's, you learn every fight. I learned a lot from that Ruiz fight. I wouldn't change anything about it and that is part of my story now and that will be part of my story when I do become world champion and like you said there talking about sharing the ring with these kind of fighters I believe I will be doing that one day whether that be the end of this year or maybe potentially next year I don't know I just want to take each fight as it comes now because like you said there I could be I was getting spoken about Britain's next world champion after the Karen Griffith fight fast forward a year later then you get the Reyes fight then you fast forward 13 months later I'm almost forgotten about so I just want to show on Saturday night that I'm back and I'm, I'm ready to come and, and win some more belts at new weights one final one from me. You mentioned Dallas. That's going to be my next question. New belts, new weights. Two, two weight European champion, maybe this year, and then push on for that world honours, maybe at the end of this year, beginning of 2024. I think it makes sense. I think I was on. I was. I think I was there. World level. I was ready for a world title shot at bantamweight. I think now we're moving up with the inactivity. A lot of things going on. I think let's build again. British. What, imagine being British Commonwealth European champion at two weights. Uh, could potentially happen. I think. Is Liam Davies the Davis. British Commonwealth and Europe? I think that, that, that's a fight that could happen this year. Again, no looking ahead. Any, I, I've, I've be the first to say we don't know what can happen in this game. So main focus win on Saturday night and look forward to some big fights. But I'm confident and I, I'm ready to take on anybody that's put in front of me as long as I know I'm ready. My team know I'm ready. I'm all for it. And I've proved that with my career. I'm willing to take any risks. I'm not scared of any challenge. So I just, obviously, I just need to get momentum back, get myself back, back enjoying boxing. And I'll prove that I'm back. Well, Lee, if you, keep, if you go a two-weight British, European, Commonwealth, I know, I, know, I, know you, I, know, I know you've bought a new house. You've got space for all these belts in that house? No, I can't. No, that's what I mean. But that's the thing. Still young. Plenty more belts to come. Plenty more titles to win. And I feel like this is a new chapter. Saturday night's the beginning. Definitely. Listen, I'll see you at the way in tomorrow, Leon. It's always a pleasure. Good to see you happy again, brother. Yep. So, see you soon. Cheers, Lee. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light. Yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see, if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here, and this has been like a therapy session.